In this segment, I'd like to discuss facial injuries and talk about what we typically see resulting from car wrecks. And we do see all kinds of facial injuries, from broken jaws to dental injuries, especially in high-speed car accidents. Well, facial injuries can be caused by a variety of things in the collision. Uh, shattered glass from the windshield, debris flying around inside the car, physical contact with the dashboard or the steering wheel, contact with the side window. I've seen statistics that tell us as much as 70% of people involved in car wrecks sustain some kind of facial injury or trauma. The most common facial injury we see is bruising to the face. The majority of the time, this occurs when the person's face hits the steering wheel, and there will be significant swelling in the area, followed by bruising. Uh, along with the bruising, we will also see lots of cuts or lacerations to the face. This could include cuts to the lips, cuts to the cheeks, a laceration of the tongue, scrapes all over the face and the head. Now, please remember, in a car wreck, it's not just flying glass from a broken windshield or side window that can cause damage. Practically anything within the confines of the passenger compartment essentially become a flying projectile that can cause serious damage. And when a driver's face hits the steering wheel or the dash with a lot of force, then bone fractures are certainly a possibility. We will often see our clients suffer a broken nasal bone, a fractured jaw, either the upper or lower jaw, a fractured cheekbone, also called the zygoma, a fractured eye socket. Anytime that there's damage to the facial bones, there's also a huge risk of some permanent deformity. Uh, of course, it depends upon the severity of the force and the extent of the damage to the facial bones. But we've seen problems like sunken cheekbones result because of the facial injuries our clients sustained. And, and these deformities can have a lasting effect on a person's appearance. And our clients are not only seeing plastic surgeons, but also counselors to help them cope emotionally with the injuries. And these injuries that we are discussing are not just physical problems. It's only natural, especially with women, for them to feel very self-conscious about the scarring or the deformities that can result. So it's very important for us to work with them on finding the appropriate psychological counseling as well. Now let's talk about dental issues that can result from car wrecks. We see all kinds of problems, such as broken or chipped teeth, uh, teeth not completely out, damage to dentures, Clients having persistent toothaches from gritting their teeth at impact in TMJ, also known as temporomandibular joint injury. TMJ can be very painful. The temporomandibular joint is a joint where the person's lower jawbone attaches to the skull. It's located on both sides of the person's head, just in front of the ears. This is the area that allows a person to uh, talk or yawn. Now, whenever someone has TMJ, they can experience tenderness or pain in the jaw, especially when chewing, pain or pressure around the ear, discomfort when talking or yawning or, or clicking in the jaw. And a TMJ injury often occurs after one or, or two things happen. The person's jaw strikes the steering wheel, the dash or the side window, or when the person's head is whipped backwards and forwards very quickly. And this is called an acceleration deceleration injury. This often occurs in rear end collisions or head on collisions. The force of the impact can cause the jaw to damage the soft tissue, the muscles, and tendons in this area. What treatment options are available to a person with a TMJ injury? Well, there are essentially three things that can be done. One, a course of prescription medications, and this could include painkillers, muscle relaxers, and anti-inflammatories. Two, a dentist may prescribe a bite guard or a night guard. This will help keep the jaw relaxed at night and prevent grinding of the teeth. And a third is surgical intervention, and this is also an option in the more extreme cases of TMJ. Now, when a client calls our office after a wreck and they've sustained facial injuries, we have two immediate concerns. First, we want to make sure our client is getting the appropriate medical care for their injuries. Obviously, if a client has fra uh, facial fractures, chiropractic care, physical therapy is certainly not appropriate for them and their injuries. We make sure that they have an opportunity to be examined uh, for treatment by an orthopedist and sometimes a plastic surgeon consult is warranted. TMJ requires an examination by a dentist and possibly an orthodontist depending upon the degree of injury. The second concern is to document the injuries by having a professional photographer take pictures of these injuries. The old saying is, is so true still today. A picture is worth a thousand words. It's one thing to talk about the physical injuries. It's another thing for a jury to actually see the severity of the injuries in the photographs. A professional evidentiary photographer knows exactly 
how to capture the injuries on film. So he or she can show the degree of injuries and the scarring using the correct lighting. Look, if you have questions about your personal injury claim, if you or a loved one has sustained facial injuries in any kind of claim, I encourage you to call us right now. Look, you have absolutely nothing to lose by calling us. But think of all you can lose if you don't.